This is a tutorial video just showing how we can do a simple I.O. example on the, the G2 um, code generator program. So we've hooked up a potentiometer to ADC0 and an LED to pin 2 and we're just going to show how the, the LCD screen can interact with these. So when you first open the program you get this uh, startup screen. One of the first things to check is the, the palette which is your sort of basic colors that are used in all the templates on the buttons. So the, the default one's quite sort of beige, but we'll um, spice that up a bit. So to start off with, we're going to put in a panel. And to make this a bit bigger, you click on the object ID, then, then run through all its parameters. And just run through, do all the, the numeric changes that you need. I might just go a little bit bigger and we also want to change the color on this one so um, we're RGB 565 colors in this so we go back to this edit palette thing and we'll just choose a nice sort of gold and from here you can just paste the palette color in as a numeric value hit enter on it and it'll update automatically so for the output we want to do a bar fill and this will just be for the um, ADC reader so similar to before we just drag and drop um, change the values as needed and change a bit of the colors um, just wind this one back a bit so we're, we're more, higher contrast now which is good and we'll also put two push buttons in there for the um, LED output display so we just want to change the text on both of these we'll call one on and the other one off So you might notice there's a little bit of sort of white corners on the edge there. Uh, that's because each widget has its own background color. So if we select the background um, item and you can pick any screen color using the, the palette as well. So we, we pick that one that it's sitting on and then we can just paste the, the right color in and you see the little white corners have disappeared. So we just do the same thing for this other one and all looks nice so now to link these two buttons to a digital output we click on the button so this is the on button we want to um, pin toggle with a digital right as per just the standard Arduino uh, commands and we want to put that one as low so it's just the, the, the same command you're used to there, you just put it at the end of the line, hit enter and that'll record it. So the same for the other, um, the off button. So digital right, pin 2 and just make it higher to turn it off. And that's almost there, we also have uh, user variables. So we're going to put on a long for the ADC value and we'll just initialize it to zero. So this is code that gets uh, generated in the file just as it's written. And we also have the ability to monitor this value for changes and write a um, sort of update whenever it is changed. So we find the um, the bar fill, this is object ID 2 so it's sort of got a, a, a pointer system almost so it's just at 2 and then at to close it off and that um, references that UID number 2 so then we write its um, fill percentage because that's how we want to change fill percentage equals ADC and we also want to 
redraw that because it's now got a new fill percentage so we'll just redraw it and it'll update and so this is just a standard um, redraw function on all the the buttons and widgets so draw by state and again just set the colon to end the line so that's that's it done and we can save it pretty easy uh, we'll just call this one tutorial so it's all XML based saving and we also generate the code um, so I'm going to overwrite one that I've generated before and that's done to get this code into the um, board we just do a normal sketch in the, the Arduino IDE uh, save it straight away close it off and then copy the generated files into that, that directory that way when we open the, the project again uh, if we just open recent and those two files um, the generated files are now in there so the INO file itself you need to just put in a few little um, little includes and, and that sort of thing to get it working same stuff for every time you do it um, every project you make I should say every time you update the, the LCD code itself you can just reload the sketch and it'll update automatically so just a single initialization and a single display scan call and I like to just put a little delay in there so it's not um, refreshing too often so we also have to do our pin mode for pin 2 and that one's output for the LED and then a little bit um, for the analog read for our ADC so we're on 0 And we also just have to change it um, a little bit because this is 0 to 1024 whereas our fill percentage is 0 to 100. So it's red vowel uh, equals red vowel. It's just a, a very sort of basic approximation. And then the to change the, the variable we just go screen class dot and if we go to the header file we can see what that variable is called. So down here you can see this is the one we wrote and this is a, a tracker variable that's sort of been automatically generated and that just enables it to change to detect when it changes. So ABC val equals red val and then we just compile and this is the screen running the, the tutorial code we just made so I've got the, the pot here and as you can see you turn that up and down goes the bar fill and we've also got these two buttons so on, off and that just controls the, the LED here